uh, I'm Vish Sattar. I discuss about uh, embedded machine learning applications in real world. In healthcare domain, we have uh, content variable health monitors. Devices like uh, smartwatches use embedded ML to track heart rate, detect irregularities and alerts without needing constant cloud connectivity. So if, even if you have to uh, have the embedded ML in, so you need to have the models embedded onto your uh, devices. So the models will have the intelligence to detect uh, the heart rate uh, regularly. So if there are any irregularities, it will be um, sending the alerts to the uh, display. So that right, without having to the cloud connectivity, uh, you can the users right can read their uh, any irregularities. The next one is the portable uh, diagnostic tools. Embedded ML portable diagnostic tools are nothing but you have this uh, glucose monitors, right? So it will uh, detect the feedback of the uh, glucose based on here yeah, the. Uh, already existing data, right? The irregularities can be updated to the display so that the red users will have the um, uh, intelligent their uh, glucose parameters. Then you have uh, smart homes. In smart homes, you have the smart thermostats. See here, what happens is so the um, devices might nest, right? Use embedded ML. So the user preferences, right, uh, will be automatically be updated. Like for example, so in a uh, sunny day, right, uh, you want the temperature of your uh, coffee, right, to be lesser. In a colder day, uh, you want the the temperature of your coffee to be more. So such kind of features, right, can be implemented using thermostats, um, so that right, uh, your model will take care of. Then you have security cameras. So in this case, right, uh, even embedded ML, right, uh, will have a real-time threat detection of uh, distinguish between normal and suspicious activities, reducing. Just consider one example. Suppose you have a security camera in front of your uh, uh, house, right? So the the uh, dog, right, knows uh, think that uh, one dog has come and just simply it is barking in front of your house. So then it's barking as usual without any false uh, impression, right? Sometimes dogs will bark, right? So that kind of instances, right, will be avoided. So if there is a burglar, right, in your house, right, that instances will be there in your model. The model will detect all these false alarms. So it will not update uh, the false alarms to the user. Then you have automotive. It's nothing but your driver assistance systems. Cars use uh, embedded ML right, to for lane detection, collision avoidance, adaptive cruise control, processing real time for immediate action. So the what happens is based on your uh, uh, past data right all these features can be implemented uh, in uh, driver uh, assistance systems right with the help of embedded ML. next you have predictive maintenance embedded ml in uh, vehicle monitors uh, engine health and predict uh, uh, needs uh, alerting drivers before issues come critical so some of the aspects right um, it you know, continuously right the embedded ml models right will be reading the um, particular different aspects of the automobile and it will be giving some crucial alerts whenever uh, they are required. Uh, the next is the industrial IoT. You, know, you have this predictive maintenance sensors. Sensors are um, right, uh, the maintenance right, of the machines right, can be predicted. So based on your uh, models which are embedded to your uh, products. Then you have industrial reports, right? So the precision and adaptability, right, of the manufacturing process can be improved. So then in telecom, you have this self-optimizing rack networks. 
so based on your packet uh, 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 traffic right so the network optimization can be done uh, so the models right will read the traffic pattern future behavior and network conditions here so they'll change the, uh, the, the route of the packet in some cases right suppose um, the there is some disturbance in the uh, network right in one of the uh, path it will decide the uh, next verb based on the real time so you need not set it it will not do it then your uh, network traffic management so you can analyze uh, the packet right based on the ml models it can predict congestion reroute traffic and all so it's more related to management and self optimizing network so these are some of them okay okay thank you